cardamom and nutmeg mandazi. That is what we are going to be making today and it's going to be easy and the mandazi are going to turn out soft and very delicious. To make this recipe, you'll need a few basic ingredients, which I know you definitely have in the house. But the key ingredient is cardamom and nutmeg spices, which are very mild and flavorful. In a mixing bowl, you're going to be adding in two to three cups of all-purpose flour. I've already done that. Then you're going to add in the rest of the dry ingredients. So I'm going to add in some salt. Add in a quarter teaspoon. A teaspoon baking powder. Sugar. And cardamom and nutmeg spices. Using a whisk, you're going to whisk in all the ingredients until fully combined. If you don't have a whisk, you can use a fork. Once combined, you're going to be adding in a tablespoon of margarine. Go in with your fingertips and massage the margarine into the dry ingredients, just like this. Crack in an egg. Using a spoon or a fork, you're going to mix in the egg while gradually adding in your milk. You can also use a hand mixer. Scrape the bottom of the bowl to make sure all the dry ingredients are fully combined with the wet. Once the dough is formed, I'm going to go in with my hands. So sprinkle in some extra all-purpose flour. I need for around three to four minutes. The dough should be soft and elastic once you're done kneading. And if your dough is super wet, you can add in some, sprinkle in some extra all-purpose flour until you have a soft dough. If the dough is too dry, add in some more milk so that the dough can turn out soft and elastic. Mine is a little bit wet, so I'm going to be adding in little bits of all-purpose flour as I need. This is how my dough is looking like. It's getting very stretchy, as you can see, and it's also very soft. So I'm going to transfer to my countertop and work on the dough for another minute. Make sure to sprinkle in some extra all-purpose flour so that the dough doesn't stick on your countertop or your working surface. I'm going to be resting my dough for around 10 minutes before frying my mandazi. Nice. After 10 minutes, the dough is well rested. So I'm going to place a frying pan with some cooking oil over medium high flame. Divide my dough in half. I'm going to be working on one piece, so I'm going to place one aside. Sprinkle in some all-purpose flour on my countertop so that my dough doesn't stick. Using a rolling pin, I'm going to roll out my dough into a circle or, a, or maybe a rectangle, <laughs> whichever shape, because we, I'm going to be cutting out the mandazi. The dough absolutely smells incredible from the cardamom and nutmeg. I can't wait for the mandazi to get ready. So I'm going to be rolling out my dough an inch because I want the mandazi to be very meaty and so soft on the inside. I'm a huge lover of mandazi and whenever I can, I usually make the dough in the evening because it is super easy to prepare, just as I've shown you. Wake up in the morning, make some delicious mandazi for my family and everyone is going to be happy. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to check if the oil is hot by inserting a skewer, if the skewer 
if I notice some bubbling on my skewer, the oil is ready for my dough. Using a pizza cutter, I'm going to cut out my dough. Just like that. Placing my pieces of dough and using a schema, I'm going to try and separate the dough just like this. Fry for one minute per side or when you notice a lovely golden brown color. If you notice that your mandazi are browning super fast, that means that the oil is super hot. What you're going to do, you're going to reduce the flames to low so that the mandazi can slowly cook. Once the mandazi have browned on one side, I'm going to use my skewer and flip so that the other side can brown. While adding in the little pieces of dough in the cooking oil, always make sure not to overcrowd because the temperature of the oil is going to drop and you're going to get some soggy mandazis. I'm using a very huge frying pan over here, so I'm going to be frying my cardamom and nutmeg mandazi in four rounds. Once the other side has cooked, I'm going to use my skimmer and shake off the excess oil transfer to a bowl with the rest of the mandazi. Super easy. There's nothing more exciting than freshly made mandazi. I love having mine while still warm with a cup of chai. The mandazis have turned out so good. They're soft, they're very delicious, and the cardamom and nutmeg spices have brought out some delicious and flavorful taste. So I'm going to pick one and check in the middle. You can see how gorgeous the mandazi looks on the inside. It's still very hot. Have a bite. Mmm, so good. Mm -mm. The cardamom and nutmeg mandazi are sweet. The cardamom and nutmeg mandazi are sweet and also you can taste the cardamom and nutmeg which makes this mandazi recipe very delicious. You can double or even triple the recipe and make for your entire family because this is a small batch, maybe for around four people. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll be trying out this amazing and delicious cardamom and nutmeg mandazi.